Now, let us say that I have in Young's double slit experiment, we have a source and then we have an opaque screen with two slits S1 and S2 and we have a screen here. Now, let us say that I insert a thin glass slab here with refractive index mu and t. Then what happens? Let us find out. The thickness is a fraction of millimeter. Now, because of this insertion of this glass slab, what happens? You see that this glass slab has a refractive index greater than the refractive index of air. So, the velocity of light here is less than the velocity of light in air. So, what will happen? The light waves which travel through this glass slab will, will get delayed because of this glass slab because the refractive index, the velocity of light here is less. So, if this was not there, the time taken by the light waves would have been less compared to when this is there. So, the effect of this glass prism, uh, glass slab is to introduce a time delay. Now, let us find out how much time delay this introduces. Now, velocity here is you know as it is c by mu. So, the time taken by the light wave to travel this much distance is how much t times t divided by c by mu, but t is the thickness, this is the time taken. Now, when the glass slab was not there, how much time would the light wave take to travel this distance? It would be simply t by c. So, the delay produced by the glass slab is how much? It is simply mu minus 1 by c. So, this is, see, this is the time delay produced by the glass slab. So, in terms of distance, a delay of this much is equivalent to how much distance? I multiply this with the velocity that is c to get the distance. So, the distance is t mu minus 1. Now, what is happening in this case? See, if I take a point here x, then because x2 is this distance and s1 is this distance, we saw that x2 distance is greater than x1 and x2 minus x1 is the path difference, normal path difference. Now, when I am introducing the glass slab, this light wave is taking larger amount of time because of this glass slab, because there is a delay. That means what? In that, in the delay which this glass slab is producing, this light wave can travel a uh, more greater distance and what will happen in that case? That will, in that case what will happen is, th this will lead to a reduction in the path difference, right. So, when if the path difference was delta x initially, now because of this introduction of the glass slab, this, this x1 has got a bit delayed. So, now the path difference will be this. Now, another way to look in this setup is like this. See, there is a delay produced by this glass slab. Now, this delay is equivalent to shifting the source S1 in this direction because if I shift the source in this direction, let us say uh, to this position, that also will introduce a delay. So, how much is the shift I need to produce in this direction? This is equivalent to, let us say this shift is x. The time taken from S1 dash to s1 is x by c. This should be equal to the time taken for the, or the delay produced by this slab which is equal to t by c u minus 1 or you can say that introducing a glass slab is equivalent to shifting the position of s1 by a distance of t times mu minus 1. Now, what happens because of this introduction of this glass slab? What happens to the interference pattern when we introduce a glass slab? Let us see. You know that 2 pi by lambda delta x plus delta source is equal to two k pi in case of constructive interference. This is zero because this source two sources are in are in phase. Now this one, I can write delta x as so I can write delta x as 
की लैमडा ना वॉट इज द पाथ डिफरेंस नाउ पाथ डिफरेंस इन नॉर्मल केस वॉज वॉट इन नॉर्मल केस इट वॉज एक्स डी बाई सॉरी इट वॉज एक्स स्मॉल डी बाई डी नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस ग्लास स्लैब द पाथ डिफरेंस हैज गॉट रिड्यूस बिकॉज दिस बिहेव इज नाउ टेकिंग अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम सो द पाथ डिफरेंस हैज गॉट रिड्यूस बाई हाउ मच न्यू माइनस वन टी नाउ दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू टू के पाई सॉरी दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू के लैमडा और नाउ आई सी दैट माई एक्स इज नाउ डी सो माई फर्स्ट सेंट्रल मैक्सिमम फॉर द फर्स्ट मैक्सिमम अकर्स वन के इज इक्वल टू वन और द फर्स्ट मैक्सिमम अकर्स एट this distance so the first maxima doesn't occur at this position x is equal to 0 the first maxima has got shifted in this direction similarly all the maximas get shifted by this amount so the effect of us introduction of glass slab is to introduce a shift in the whole interference pattern the whole interference pattern has shifted in the upward direction and the shift is equal to this much okay now what if i want to get my setup back what if i say that okay this glass slab is here fine i'll introduce another glass slab in front of the second source with a refractive index mu1 t1 so that the in my interference pattern is brought back how do i do that now see this glass slab introduces a delay time delay i should ensure that this glass slab also in introduces the same amount of delay then the two delays will cancel each other and the path difference will be only because of the difference in the path lengths okay so the time taken by the first glass slab was how much it was mu minus 1 t by c this should be equal to the time taken by this glass slab mu 1 minus 1 by c so my thickness of the second glass slab should be equal to t mu minus 1 divided by mu 1 minus 1 